What are your What are your thoughts about uh, courage? Because I know that you have the courage to do a lot of things, and to watch your journey over the last over the last uh, year has been tremendous. And now you're in a different place now than you were before, and that took a lot of courage. So I just want to say congratulations to you on on the things that you're doing and the things that you've done and that you continue to do because you are an amazing example for anyone wanting to get past those struggles and those hardships. And I just want to say congratulations. Uh, you're the best. You're the best. That's so sweet that you're saying so. Um, well, um, I'm trying to find uh, how to position my phone. Yeah, I think I found it. So, um, last week on Sense Show, I actually said it's about um, being open while being vulnerable at the same time, mm -hmm. too. And... Um, so we were talking about whether men were allowed to cry or not, uh, mm -hmm. which also had to do with uh, uh, with courage. Yeah. And then for a second, I was literally brought back to being on the stretcher when my father had to make the choice whether he was going to pass away or not because they, they had to do a detour uh, to, to remove a blockage um, between his, his bladder and his kidneys. And he decided not to, and and he was actually comforting me, he was wiping a tear away on my, uh, from my face, and I was like, okay, yes, I just no, I I said that I I don't mind, you know, being open and being vulnerable on on camera, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> at that same instant, I did say to Zen, I I need to leave the show because otherwise I can't process those emotions because it right. was like, oh yeah, you you can show them here. I was like, yeah, well, I think it's courage enough that I'm talking about it and uh, showing my emotions, but I was like, I I really need to get off now in order to you know. So, yeah, courage is probably about uh, doing stuff you never thought you possible, but also about being open about vulnerable things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and as for courage, I think you largely had a part to do with me being more alive, way more alive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's, uh, that's kudos to you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, but uh, let's be honest, you're showing it time and time again so and we have maya here yay <laughs> Hey. yeah maya nice to meet you by the way i, I know I, I think i got your message over on the discord and uh, and i'll make sure that i respond to that about uh, about joining clubhouse and getting over there on clubhouse I, i'm the host of the of the club by the way so when we do go live with evan uh, i'll be the host and and i'll do the introductions and and bring evan on and and turn you know basically make the whole show happen Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, and nice to meet you. Yeah. Both of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Maya is new to Movement Makers. Oh. Well, that, that's awesome. Welcome to Movement Makers. Uh, I, I've been, been a part of it for a little over a year, but I've been connected to Evan for over two years and, uh, and a part of the team, and I, I help him out with a lot of, lot of things on Clubhouse-related stuff and audio and everything. So welcome, by the way. Thank you. Fantastic. Yes. This is so nice to see you guys. It's a fantastic opportunity to be around uh, like-minded mm -hmm. and um, great people. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on courage? Uh, I know that uh, we have the, the courage challenge going on and uh, we have, you know, we create one 10 minute video and then we create three collaborations. So this is a part of one of the collaborations right here. What are your thoughts on courage? Right. Um, I think it's, it's interesting topic and uh, mm -hmm. all of us we can have different kind of point of view definitely okay so let's focus on something what's coming to my mind um, I would say courage is definitely it's coming from inside that you mm -hmm. you you can be yourself and um, also that uh, be it, it's quite courage and being praised that uh, we start a personal development and a journey really that we dive deeply inside that who we are and have like the mirror in front of us because some things are very uncomfortable what we having you know in our personalities so mm. that's definitely courage and um yeah those kind of things and it's also what i think personally i think for me it's quite close to my personality to go against the mainstream definitely mm. because i'm very different personality and it's like Unfortunately, oftentimes, I mean, you have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. So it, it takes some courage, you know, 
so uh, that's yeah, a thing. It, it truly does. And here's what I've learned over the years is that if, if you're not your true authentic self, you'll be living in the shadows of what could become. And here's what I mean by that. People will often judge you from a place of their weakness when they do not understand your strength. And it is your strength to show up, your strength to show out. It's your strength to allow your voice to be a voice for other people who otherwise would not have a voice. So when you have that courage to speak up, to be yourself, to be your true authentic self, you allow other people who resonate and connect with you to also have a voice. You give them a voice. So think about the courage to be you, and you're going to connect with more people just like you. Ah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here, by the way. Uh, Lexi, do you, have any, do you have any additional thoughts, or do you want to ask a question, or do you want to... Uh, well, I, I do have some um, additional thoughts. So, okay. um, first of all, I, I think that because of the whole challenge thing, mm -hmm. um, basically courage has been uh, is being created for us to go on the life, you know, mm -hmm. and, and talk to one another. And so, like uh, what you're saying, once we start to uh, speak out to other people, that's when we inspire others to muster up that same courage to be there mm -hmm. and um yeah so so i totally agree and i i love that that we are both about giving people a voice and about speaking up and speaking out yeah so. it, it, it's empowering it truly is it is really empowering because there there's a lot of people that you know once again they they live in those shadows they live in in those dark moments those dark times and, you know, here's the thing. People are not really afraid of our darkness. It's not our darkness that, that makes other people scared. It is our light that scares other people. It's also our light that scares us as well, too. Think about it. If you don't have the courage to step up, if you don't have the courage to step out, you don't have the courage to put that out there within the world, you are living in your darkness when it's your light that really needs to shine. Think about that. And when you shine bright for other people, you will be a beacon for other people to, to go towards, to draw towards that light, to come towards that light. Because people need that more than ever because the last two years especially have been truly dark and we need people that can shine bright and be that light for others. So that's kind of my take on that right there. And, and I just, man, I, I am rooting for both of you to achieve continued success. Be that light, not only for yourself, but be the light for others as well, too. Yeah, well, that's, again, you are a big inspiration, you know, with uh, all the shows that you are doing. Um, so I don't know if people know this, but uh, I'm just going to make a little, uh, do a little marketing for you. So you're on live every Friday <laughs> together with uh -huh. Bunny from Coast yeah. Notion, uh, which is at 7 Eastern time. 7 Eastern. Um, mm -hmm. And then mostly at midnight, well, that's my time, so that would be 6 Eastern. You're doing the clubhouse thing, right? Yeah, so every night at 6, we're, we're going live on Clubhouse, and, and we even started doing Wednesdays as well, too. So on Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern, right there in the Unbreakable Stories Club, we're going live. To, this morning, we had a good conversation. So this morning, we had a little talk about, what did we talk about this morning? We talked about, oh, service. So we talked about service to others and how to serve other people, and we talked about different tools, techniques, and ways in which to serve other people. And, you know, and it, it, it was a truly powerful conversation. We had Edge, uh, EJ Bassetti was there this morning. Uh, we had Shawana. We had, we had some other, other people that are not necessarily movement makers, but a couple of people that were movement makers that did join. So Wednesdays at 9 a.m., every night at 6 p.m. Eastern, and then every Friday on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern, we go live. So it's great ways to connect with us, join in on the show, and, and allow yeah, your you're voice to be heard. Um, you're one busy boy. Yeah. Well, tonight I'll be having my life about those who have lost people due to COVID. Yeah. So if uh, anyone is around, it will be at 7 tonight, Eastern time. <laughs> so, you, 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 are you and Michael going live tonight? Yeah, I'll be going live tonight on YouTube. So I'll be using okay. StreamYard. I just posted something. Uh, so if people want to join, just um, go to YouTube, go to my channel, or reach mm -hmm. out to me, and I'll I'll uh, send the StreamYard link. So you're very much invited too. <laughs> yeah. But um, um, awesome. I 
actually also asked Maya to for a second here, if, if, if you don't mind, because I'm curious yeah. about how she feels about the combination of courage and speaking out. Right. Um, yeah, definitely. There is a great connection. And uh, you already um, talked about this. Uh, I, I thought that that's definitely empowering that um, personally, but I know this, that when I came out of my personal story and trauma, what I thought was like a shameful and everything. So in this instant moment, everything, something changed inside me completely forever. Definitely. Definitely powerful. It's kind of when you start to speak out, it's something is already it's, it's already out. It's like too late to like, take it back, which is great. You have like uh, destroyed all those walls, but you have it in front of you. Powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, knocking down those walls. So you talk about knocking down walls, destroying barriers, all these different things that, that are in front of you. And the average person, believe it or not, it's all right there. It's it's those things that are right there. It's, it's those mental walls that are the hardest to break down. Because physical walls, things that are actual, that are real, true, those things are really, believe it or not, those are the easiest things to knock down. Those are the easiest things to overcome. Those obstacles are the easiest ones to overcome. It's that mind that tends to be the hardest thing because it's that mind that tends to overreact, to catastrophize, to do all these different things that will be a limiting factor in you taking appropriate action in order to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. And nine times out of 10, you the voices that are in your head will be stronger than anything that you could say out loud. And that's sad. And a lot of people have really strong voices in there. Here, here's how you overcome that. Sometimes you have to just stand up inside yourself and say, shut up. You know, and that's one of the things that I do. A lot of times I'm telling myself to shut up all day, every day, because those voices, those voices will really take over if I don't say shut up. Now, of course, Mel Robbins, Mel, Mel Robbins has this truly powerful thing where it's five, four, three, two, one, and then you spring into action. For me, it's shut up. It's like, you know what? Just shut up. It's two simple words, but it's something that literally stops my thinking long enough to where I can continue taking action. And sometimes that takes courage to tell your own self to shut up. It really does. To get out of your own way. Yeah, I have to create what I call a virtual accountability partner. Mm -hmm. So, um, because I don't li really listen to myself, <laughs> then I, <laughs> you know, and I find that like some sort of super ego, it, uh -huh. it tends to work really well. Uh, but yes, yeah. it's true, you know, talking to yourself, it, it's, it's, it's powerful. And, yeah. and really when I'm, I'm really distracted and, and my head is going nowhere, then I'll be like, focus, you know. Think to myself, like, get out of it, step out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I get it. Can I ask you a question, Terry? Yeah, go ahead. So, um, I don't know if, if you want to talk about it, maybe not, you know me. Um, so, when it comes to speaking out and courage, um, so uh, I know Evan did a live with um, Stash, if I say it correctly. He's got a difficult name. He was in the Ukraine, Ukraine uh, right now. And I mm. think it's so, um, you were talking about uh, knocking down walls. And of course, mm. we've seen all the buildings that have been knocked down and, and people being closed in. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, actually, I, I now have the PayPal account from, from him. So we can send food over there if needed and want it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but anyway, you know, when we're talking about uh, um, uh, knocking down walls, um, do you have any thoughts on that? Or do you want to share anything? Do you have a more specific question? So, like, do I have any thoughts about what's going on in the Ukraine? Is that, was that your question? or? Yeah, yeah, because they're literally walking, knocking down the walls, you know? Uh, what? Mm. And, and I saw this, um, they did make, make this uh, slight uh, screen and uh, slideshow uh, mm -hmm. Netherlands television had done it so you could see what it was before and was after and my heart mm -hmm. is literally breaking when I see it and that's apart from all the people who are stuck and and are hungry so mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I might I might not have seen what you're referencing, but but here's kind of my my take and my thoughts on, on what's happening. Bottom line up front, there's a lot of bad things that's happening out there within the world, things that we cannot control and things that, that we can control. Now, we're not in, in those countries, you know, where the bad things are happening, but I can I can assure to you that I've been in countries where bad things happen. You know that from, from a military background. But um, it's one of those things that the only thing that we can do is that we can we can try to do be a voice for the negative that's happening. You know, express our thoughts and our opinions on what's right, what's wrong. But once again, that's a matter of perspective. And oftentimes we don't have all of the information that's happening real world out there. And un that's an unfortunate thing. You know, I mean, there's the media that tells their side of the story, story. And we oftentimes don't get what's really happening on the ground unless we're right there with it happening. At the opposite end of that spectrum, there's nothing that, that I can physically really do about what's going on within a lot of these places because there's, there's nine times out of ten more stuff that's happening around the world that you and I are completely unaware of. It just happens every single day, everywhere. But I, I focus on what I can control versus the things that I cannot control. And when it comes to the media, when it comes to the news, when it comes to a lot of that stuff, guess what? I don't watch it. I don't engage with it. I choose not to fill any of that stuff within my mind because my mind is focused on what I'm trying to achieve. So to simply answer your question, I don't focus on it. I don't engage in it. I don't. I, I make. I make choices to do what it is that I can control. And right now, that control is right here within my own house, my own family, my own business, the things that I'm doing. Oh, I totally agree with um, do what we can control. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I totally do. So, um, so I don't read it all the time. But I was like, okay, it, it did do something, you know, when I was reading it. So, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no worries. so that, that's why I brought it up. And as for Maya, she also talked about knocking down those walls and the speaking mm -hmm. up and courage. So, uh, Sorry, did you have a question? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was more like an open invitation. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, about the topic of courage, um, you want to continue about this? Right, so um, usually I have something to say, but it's just when I'm kind of blank. <laughs> no, no worries. Question? No worries. Um, hey, just just to let you all know, I, I do have to go here. So if you wanted to j continue your conversation, because I think Lexi, you were trying to go live with Maya as well too. Yeah, uh, I'm I, have so go I have that soccer with practice. Maya. I, I have yeah, soccer okay. practice to go to here very very yeah, shortly. Yeah. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for, for showing up. Thank you, Lexi. Great questions, by the way. Maya, thank you for adding uh, value. I look forward to talking to you again because I do have to get dinner. I'm, I'm over here cooking dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go. You go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And we, we, got, we got soccer tonight, and then uh, later on tonight we'll be on Clubhouse with a live conversation. So, uh, Lexi, make sure you help Maya out because I think that she had some questions about Clubhouse. You know, I mean, you all are more than welcome to yeah. join us. You know, every night we go live, and yeah, I'm always running random rooms in there, and yeah, I look forward to connecting with you. Yeah, okay, thank will you so do, much. will okay. do, and uh, talk to you soon. All right, thank you for joining us. All right, my name is my name is Terry, and we've just been talk, talking about courage here, and I had some lovely people join us in on the conversation. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Watching, thank you very much for listening. Until next time, you know what? Keep your mind strong. Keep taking appropriate action, and every day you will achieve results. Have the courage to show up so you can show out. Have the courage to speak up so you can speak out, because you know what? No matter where you are, there you are, and guess what? People are watching. People are listening. People are learning. But more impor important, people are discovering what's possible for them, and what's possible for you is possible for them, but the only way to show that is if you have the courage to be your authentic self and show others what you're capable of. So Maya, um, how are you? I'm actually quite good. I have today this is a bit, uh, not a good day, but every time it's like this kind of opportunity to talk to somebody amazing like you, it's great. So, ah, it's so okay. That's, that's cool. So what happened that your day was a little bit off? 
I think it's just uh, my personality and my sensitive person. Sometimes thinking too much and feeling like energy and lots of things. So it's not necessarily something specific, you know. Yeah, but it's yeah, okay. So, so you're in Finland, correct? Yeah. So um, do you have any daylight at all at the moment? Uh, yes, we do actually, but um, that's a good question because middle of the winter time it's like quite dark, especially in Lapland. But I'm in the south, I live in the island, so here it's a little different. But now it's great, we're having a nice spring time. So. And some of it is wonderful, it's just light even in night time. So. Good day, sir. Oh, that's, that's good. Because I was wondering, how do you deal with uh, the darkness over there? Right, that's a good question also. And um, let's be honest, there are many people who are suffering from that, even they get depressed. Um, yeah, I, I do believe that sun is like, it's not what I believe, but, but we need sun. Like, well, human beings, it, it's good for our well-being too. So um, but there are clients to ways of cope with this, or maybe you can prepare yourself. And some days traveling abroad, or living abroad, this means the moment, uh, in the month and everything. So uh, different ways. But some people definitely love yeah because uh, you know sunlight is so so important to avoid depression in the middle of the winter so uh, and, and I had this friend uh, I had this friend who used to live in Finland for I think like a year ago. oh sorry sorry about okay. that <laughs> it's okay um, I think she, it was either for a year or two years she lived over there and, and and she told me this, and I was like, whoa, you mean, we're still talking Europe, but I, I can't imagine <laughs> no light at all. And, you know, one of the things I really love to do, and when it comes to courage, um, that gives me the courage to go anywhere on my own, is find the sunlight anywhere else in the world. So I've been traveling to the U.S. a couple of times. I love to go to Florida in those dark uh, days. Um, I see that uh, Terry is uh, posting about us in the uh, Discord. That's cool about the talk we just had. Um, okay, um, I'm, I'm always a little bit like I see things and then uh, I get distracted a little bit. So uh, I always okay. tell people if I, if I get too distracted, just reel me back in. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. Just be yourself. Be comfortable. Yeah, it's the, the sort of the hyper from the ADHD uh, kicking in uh, every now and then. So it's okay. But uh, yeah, it's um, when it comes to courage. How would you you overcome those moments that you know you have those, let's say, darker thoughts that you are like, okay, how do I get out of this? How can I, you know, get myself back into the spirit again? What what do you do? Right, so how to get out of the darkness, so to use, you can use the courage, so to talk about darkness or even depression, this kind of stuff? Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. I think one right. mostly leads to the other, so yeah. yes. Good question, definitely. So what I have personally done, is always individual, and I mean, example, first of all, someone is depressed, it's, it's sometimes good to even contact the medical people, it might be severe. But my personal experience, because I have had depression most of my life before, so what I learned uh, recently in the past um, two years, uh, I was able to get out from the constant kind of darkness and this kind of thing. Basically, that uh, first of all, it's a decision. When I started my journey, like for the great success from the deep, deep state of depression for great success in one year, so it was just that I decided, I was so sleeping and laying on the couch and sofa and everything. So it was so one moment, um, I was watching Mel Robbins, um, this technique, what is the technique? Three, two, one, or how, how it's called. So it's basically that like you need to start to sometimes research something motivational. You can go to YouTube for anything, whatever makes you like, okay, now I start to move myself. This is then, then depending on which state you are, at the moment, uh, it's good to take some action steps, you know, maybe you are too tired to make too much, but something, something, something has to shift, something has to change, anything. Maybe you clean one room which is so messy, maybe you, uh, anything, anything, because psychologically, it's also that when we take the action, 
that we start to see their results and we start to identify ourselves like a different. I'm different than yesterday, you know. I'm kind of in better. It's kind of, yeah, kind of plus, like it's like a plus in our mind also. Okay, I'm depressed, but yeah, no, I'm better. I'm better than yesterday, you know. And then we need to have, when we start to feel better, we need to start to have a purpose and a passion, like something, goal. It can be kind of like huge, but something was really excites us and something what is really bold something what what i tell always if you have all the money all resource all time everything this usually in this moment this is the, usually the moment you can say oh my god the person is just on fire instant this so it's so exciting and then as you have this goal or vision of ever dream then you start to take the action steps you know You need to observe the states you are having, you know. I love that what you say, the observing part, and also becoming aware, like, okay, today I'm doing a little bit better than yesterday. I'm taking one step at a time. And, yeah, I, I guess that it's true, you know, what you say about making the decision to say, okay, I can let myself be pulled down by whatever I'm feeling, or... I'm just going to find some sort of distraction. And like you said, whether it's cleaning up or going for a walk outside around the block or calling someone, um, you know, there are those little things uh, which one can do. So basically, one of the things I noticed is uh, when it gets dark early around here and in the Netherlands, uh, we have a lot of gray weather, especially during autumn and uh, during winter time. And I'm no good when it comes to that. That's why I like to find the, the sunlight and, and, you know, go places where, the, where there's sun outside. Um, so one of the things I've started doing was, um, and, and, and this is funny because someone noticed it recently. He said, what time is it over there? Because it looks so bright right here. But that's, it's dark outside. But what I do is I have all these lights around me. And they, they're warm white lights, so I, uh, because cold white, I don't like cold white. But w- the moment that the light goes down, and by the way, this also happens when I'm in the midst of a uh, presentation, when I'm watching a presentation, when they close the, bl- the blinders, then I fall asleep, like, <laughs> instantly. Um, so uh, I know in order to, to avoid... Um, some sort of depression, um, it's, it's better for me to actually have a lot of light so then I know, okay, yeah, I'm still going to do stuff. So even when it, it's already getting a little bit dark at, at 4.30, not because the sun is going down, but it's, you know, all going, uh, I'll, I'll just turn on the light. And, and that's a way for me to deal with it better because the, 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 everything in my brain is otherwise telling me you need to sleep. And and that's not working. So and and the funny thing is, I'm a night owl. So by the time it's the middle of the night, I'll be wide awake <laughs> because uh, yeah, then then I can basically do stuff. But it's it's that moment when um, when when the lights go down, it's like I I don't like that feeling. So I usually turn up the light. So that's one of my tricks. Uh, which I uh, I do, and, and also, like you said, uh, you know, I really try to find the sunlight. I like to go and, and walk somewhere, maybe um, go to a hotel, get a latte, you know, and then get to do some work, uh, write, you know, record some videos. So I, I've got a, a bunch of things up my sleeve in order to say, okay, let's get moving, let's get go. And, and, and do stuff. So. Excellent. So uh, this is definitely something um, it, it's good, good thing to talk about and um, definitely the light is important. Uh, I have got some more to talk about now. Anyway. Um, oh, one thing. I just want to mention when it comes to the depression or feeling like not, not so well also we, we must observe our thoughts because everything starts here so the present is here it's not living outside of us everything yes. is here 
So it's like um, we are, we can be our best friends or worst enemies. What we, what the thoughts we having here. So what I think, what my personal experience is that depression. It's always when you are in the state in headspace that it's very critical. It's like it's deadly. What's happening here is deadly. It's like so critical thoughts and everything that if you would stay with a friend, nobody would stay with this kind of friend who is having this kind of uh, talk with you. What we having here? So start to observe the thoughts that. Um, it's also one important thing that, uh, I mean, that's not healthy. Yeah, that's, so. that's, that's true. That's true. So is there one other thing you would like to, to, to say when it comes to courage? Anything else that, that you haven't thought of? And you know, there was one thing, um, you know, in the previous life we, we had with Terry for a sec. And uh, I think that you were there too. Uh, he's, he's listening uh, in, um, he said something about clubhouse, and here's the thing: I do believe that when um, we we need a little motivation or something to do, that especially something like clubhouse, um, it's not necessary. It's not recorded, you know. It you listen to it and that's it. So they may play things which are recorded, but you do usually have the, the opportunity to speak like five or ten minutes prior at the beginning of the show. But also, especially when you, there are several rooms and each room has, has like this theme. So Terry was talking about the, the room uh, where Evan Carmichael um, is, is coming with all these uh, different interviews. Well, actually, he has recorded them. They are on, uh, on his YouTube channel. And um, Terry is broadcasting them on his behalf, and uh, so and, and they are kind of interesting um, about you know uh, how to be empowered, how to do certain things, and I guess it's it's those little things like oh listening to someone or watching something that you know could also help us um, get to that next level, even you know if it's for one moment for five minutes. Definitely. Oh, when it comes to courage, also, uh, I think life change is definitely related to courage. And also, big at a life change, it requires more courage. Yeah. Definitely. When, when we decide to do something in different, uh, it can be courage in different level. It can be like uh, courage sometimes because we when we make the life change, um, it, it requires often that also when change something inside of us. Yeah, everything. So um, it's kind of the courage just to have a look at the situation, uh, who I am and what I want, and also have the uncomfortable thoughts and the uncomfortable observation. And then also the courage to go against the, I talk about the mainstream, and um, if I go against the mainstream, we had the discussion on another channel. Um, also, the courage to go against the mainstream, because oftentimes when you make life change, especially if it's huge, um, you might uh, face a certain kind of uh, judgmental um, thoughts, uh, opinions coming from outside. So, uh, right. Yeah, it's it's hard when when people say certain things which make you feel, say, not so worthy or less than worthy. And it's important to, you know, push that away. Um, you might wonder why are people saying certain things. And I guess it's our challenge to rise above it. And, of course, sometimes people say things and it's even not meant for us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, they are saying things and it's like, hmm. Why are you acting the way you do? You know, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's important to stay, uh, stay true to yourself. What you know to believe to be true. And, you know, always refer back to, okay, this is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is what I believe in. I might see this. I might hear something else. And uh, like, like Terry said, 
uh, when I, when I mentioned to Ukraine for a sec, he said, we are not there. So uh, the question, of course, is what's, what's true news and what's not. And if, if there's one thing which is constantly um, out there, it's that there are two different stories all the time, coming in all the time, and which makes it, of course, kind of hard. So you always need somewhere who's actually there to figure out what it's like. And even then, um, it's all when it comes to mindset, the circumstances, um, which um, make us, you know, like, okay, what am I going to do with this, about this? You know, a lot of times you can't do anything about certain situations. And that's why I quickly mentioned the PayPal from uh, from Stas, because I love it that he's got a way for us to, to help him out there if needed. Um, but yes, it's um, I, I do understand that a lot of people would say like, okay, um, we're not there. It doesn't have to be our problem. Then again, we are affected by it if we want to or not, because it does have an influence on our uh, economic situations. But when I do see it, it, it just, um, yeah, I, I have to say it, it tends me to, to see that those people are, you know, they didn't ask for it. <laughs> so, and then boom, your home is gone. Um, and I'm sorry, I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there at all. It's um, more like, okay, um, let's, see if we can um, do something for the people, you know, give them a little bit, know that they're not on their own and not alone. And of course, it's true that when it comes to uh, those we can help, that it's important that maybe especially because of this, that we also take a look around at those really close to us. What are we doing? The people we see every day, how are we treating them? And, and how are they treating us? Are they treating us the way we want to be treated? Or um, do they basically dismiss us? And, and of course, the letter is not good. So then we have to tell ourselves, is this the way I want to be treated? So there's a lot of ways we can go uh, when it comes to courage okay. and observa observation and, and what people are saying. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, very um, interesting to listen to your thoughts when you are sharing what you think and everything. And then I was also thinking one thing when it comes to courage. That I think courage would be oftentimes see something like very powerful, like a bold action or something. But I think there's another side also. I think one of the greatest courage is definitely to be about vulnerable, that I can open up. I, and I'm saying, oh, honestly, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I'm confused. All these kind of things mm -hmm. when we admit that we need help. And the person that I have to say that is the area where I have been always struggling because I have always been the, the fixer, the helper who can guide people and help them and whatever they need, you know. So for me, it has been quite challenging to even you have opportunities. And even people are offering help. I'm like, okay, I'll find it. I'm fine. It's okay. So um, it's not, I think, actually, it's not that I don't, maybe it's not that I don't have the courage. Sometimes it might be, actually, it might be another thing to that, that get used to right. Or it can be also quite interesting, by the way, to observe your thoughts. But definitely, especially some people are not get used to for this to open up and everything. This can be, of course, uh, different uh, people and different um, family units and different kind of, and sometimes cultural things also. Some people uh, get used to those and everything. But, uh, yeah. And this can also open opportunities that when we are. Oh, that's, that's so true. That's why I love it when. Some things are not uh, orchestrated beforehand. And, uh, you know, I love to do spontaneous lives. And that's me. <laughs> and really? the funny thing is, is yeah, I really do. I, I, I you okay. know, 
it's whenever I have the time and, and I'm there, you know, just find me and uh, I'll, I'll go and I'll chime in and I'll talk. Um, that's good. And, and actually, the hardest thing for me is, is if I really have to prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't mind, you know, when, when there are statements or sorts of things. Uh, I have a little trick by now. So right behind, if I do it on Instagram, I use my yeah. phone for the Instagram. Then I have my iPad straight behind it. <laughs> and I'll make sure that the text for the statement is behind my phone so I can actually read it. And, you know, when I'm really passionate about something, I know how to, to um, uh, you know, then it, it sticks in my head. So that's that's no problem. And sometimes I have this little cheat sheet, so I write down a few notes. Okay. Uh, but but okay. for me, it's way easier to just, you know, let it happen. See, see just yeah. what's, what's going on. And that, that's why I love to join. And as for, yeah, being vulnerable, um, yeah, it was, um, and, and, and I refer back to, to Sen's show last week, which was on Thursday. Um, so when we talked about courage and he asked me what courage was, and I said, well, yeah, that's being, you know, showing vulnerability. And, and, and next we, we got to talk about men, you know, are they allowed to cry? <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was, you know, literally back in time, like 10 years ago, sitting there on the stretcher next to my dad, who was, uh, well, we just decided, okay, well, we can't go on like this. I know I want you to travel, see the world. <laughs> and, you know, I was like, Nier. <laughs> so I was sitting next to him, you know, holding him up physically. And there he was, and he was comforting me. It was, yeah. So, and and the the, the good thing about that was it, it helped me process some things. Like, okay, I didn't know that, you know, it's 10 years ago. And still, at the moment, it, it was in a split second, it just got me there. Like, I was, oh, okay, that can happen. And then later I was thinking, yeah, of course, I do t those those two lives a week uh, on Monday and on Wednesday. So on Monday I go live with Michael. We talk about, uh, we have this show called Focalize So You Rise. And on Wednesday I do it with, uh, with Joe. And it, that's about speaking up and speaking out. So uh, tonight it will be about uh, um, those, um, celebrating those who have lost, who we have lost due to COVID. And, um, you know, it's, it's by being so open and vulnerable about it when, when you go live, because, yeah, I mean, if I'm alone, I have to do it. And if there are others, then still we have to expose ourselves to some of our feelings. And, and that's one of the things that they teach you when you're a coach. There is something, and they call it, well, in, in, in my words, I would say it's self-revelation. So by opening up, and sharing something of yourself, you give trust to the person who's listening, and and the other person uh, will automatically start sharing too. So sometimes you have to give something in order to get something back, and that's one of the things I, I really love to do. And I've I've got a lot of people already who said I didn't know I was going to talk about this. <laughs> you have a way of opening up <laughs> and have me talk so that. You know, uh, and I love it when people say so. But it's it, it's true. But I, I didn't realize, you know, in the long run, because doing it like twice a week, and I started the first show from January on this year. So, um, and then the second one started in, that Michael asked me to do, do a show with him was like in February something. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it does help process a lot, and it's, it's sometimes it can be scary. But then again, you know, getting the, 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 the comments from people, you know, like, oh, my God, you have helped me with this. And especially, you know, those 10 seconds that I recorded from La Ascent's live show, which I put in the reel, or maybe they were 15, people actually reacted to those 10, 15 seconds. And that was like, wow, we're talking about this little amount of time. And I've captured it. It's, it's been recorded. I captured it. I put it in a reel for people out there. And people instantly like, whoa, <laughs> you know. 
that um, so I saw you writing things down. So what what do you do normally? I don't know how much time you've got left. By the way. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, actually, usually. I wasn't even planning to write and it just something coming to my mind. So I was supposed to um, thank you for sharing all this. Uh, it's wonderful to learn from you and um, what you have, what kind of experience you have had and everything. And um, just uh, one thought coming to my mind, uh, you mentioned this, making this life you and everything. Definitely that you are brave and you have the courage. And then I was just simply thinking that uh, basically, it simply, my opinion, it simply means that then when we make, for example, these live videos, we open the possibility for such mental comments or feedback or something. And uh, so, so actually, that might be the fear. Mm. Because we're thinking what, what might happen. So, okay, nobody will die. It's not something like this. It's more like the outside walls that, okay, who will show up and what they will say and everything. And... Uh, or possibly if something goes wrong, we, we make mess and we don't know how this works and everything. And I think it's just about the uh, fears. Because when it's, it's all about the fears also that uh, uh, fears are usually just illusions. That, uh, like what will basically happen, what's the worst. It's also something good to consider that when we are in the moment, we take the brave action or something we, to have the courage. Okay, so we have the fear also. So then we need to basically start to think about, like, okay, calm down. Okay, what's the worst case scenario? What can happen? Like I just mentioned, nobody will die. It's not like something like it is. Okay, nobody's dying if I make this insta live. Okay, what else can happen? Okay, I mean, worst case scenario might happen. Somebody show up and maybe they show, like, uh, roses or flowers or hearts. Maybe they have a comment. <laughs> Somebody might having a bad day or bad mood or whatever, some struggles in his or her life and say to something. Well, it's not so nice. And also one thing to consider, to remember that we don't have to take anything, nothing personally. It's one of the most powerful, what I learned from my previous teacher about personal development. That whenever somebody makes like reaction or comment or something, it has never something to do with you. Never, never, and most of people don't know this. It's like they don't, if they are in this side or that side, they're always, okay, I can't behave like this because, you know, and then comes the excuses, or I take everything inside of us because he's right or he's right. So when you understand this, it basically sets you free, like forever. You, you feel so free. Oh, my God, nothing ever it's okay. It's okay. You kind of okay observing the situation. What's happening? Okay. It's okay. Yeah, especially when someone uh, comes from uh, left field so unexpectedly, then you know, like this, this cannot be something that's directed to me because why would you say so? so of course, there's always the question like, did I do something? Uh, but but when it comes it, and it's totally unexpected, then you know. This, this is not meant for me. This is something the other one is dealing with. And that's true. That's yeah. really true. The sad thing, though, is that some people, they literally get silent, you know, because of what some people are saying. And, and I've noticed that people, it's like they are getting their power from putting other people down about things mm. which they don't have anything to do with. And, right. and once you realize it, like you said, uh, that you realize, like, yeah, but, but this has nothing to do with me, then you can take that power back and say, you know what, I'm not going to put any energy or effort in that, you know, and I'm going to do what I love to do. And people can say, I don't know what about it, but if I love to do it, then it's important that I keep doing it because it makes me smile. Okay. So. Yeah, and there was one thing uh, that you said that was like, um, now I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, sometimes I, I get get this brain fog, so I'm focused on one thing and then the other thing just, thing just flies out of the window. But it was, um, it was important what you said about... Um, 
uh, how we are feeling and, and what we are doing with it. Um, well, never mind. I'll get back to it if, if needed. When, if not, that that's okay too. Um, you know, I, I just think that it's so important that we don't get silenced or shut down by other people, but instead that we say, okay, let's be courageous. And even if it feels a little weird and, and we're not sure, just talk about it with other people. And that's probably the way that, that we can put things back in perspective again, is by, by sharing it with other people. What do you think? Why, why has this happened? I don't know. I don't understand it. But, you know, I do know. It makes me joyful. So, yeah. Definitely. Completely agree what you say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the things you're talking about. I uh, I totally recognize that. So do you, <clears throat> do you do something with coaching too? Uh, yeah. Um, so my people ask what I do is because I'm a transformation myself. I'm basically coming to understand what's happening right now. So, okay, I try to explain it simple. Not that simple. So, basically, my focus is the transformation of coaching, or let's say, I guide uh, single mothers who are depressed and abused uh, from the place of darkness to light, and that they can find their secret magic and who they are and what is the big dream and goal and everything. So, that's the coaching thing. But then, let's be honest, I have a deeper, I would say, deeper purpose. So, um, um, it's, it's simply serving and guiding everyone. It's something who I am. I'm born like this. I was always like this. I simply kind of a child. Uh, so, um, this is, this is like kind of to put it like simple and easy, but basically it's a philanthropic thing and charity and everything. This is what I'm. I love my, what you say about helping young moms, you know, get through the process and, and especially when they're on their own. Uh, I know a number of single moms, and some have chosen for to be a single mom, and others haven't. And you know, it can be a lot for them to to, to experience, you know, especially when you're the first time mom. Um, so yeah, I I applaud you for doing so. I can't say yeah. anything else. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. So thank you. And I think so, it's like a journey that uh, basically you, you start from somewhere and it's just evolving. That it's important to do something and you don't get stuck. And then you, when you are on the journey, you discover something else also. Yes. Yeah, and I still believe, but I said it before, um, if you're on your own and you're um, embarking on this new journey, and you don't know where to go and how to go, find people. <laughs> find people to talk to, people who can help you out, people who can guide you, give you some advice, or just someone to talk to, and, and maybe they don't have anything sensible to say, but they're just listening, and they're there to give you a hug. You know, it's the small things that, that can make a difference. Yeah. So... Um, Unless you have something to say, I would say thank you for being on here. Thank you. It's, uh, and, and like I said, it's, it's, it's wonderful what you're doing. I love it that you, you help out single moms out there. And, you know, give them the joy back, especially, uh, you know, with everything that's going on. And um, I heard this, this term about, what do I call it? They call it like tears of... Uh, when you've just given birth, the, uh, apparently you're fairly emotional. So there, there's a term for it. I, I, um, I don't know what the English term is. Um, but realizing this, that people can be really emotional because of all the hormones raging through their body, it's all the more important to, um, you know, have someone to reach out to. And there's always somewhere, someone. And we may not know it, we may not know where they are, but they are there. And we now know you are there, so they can always reach out to you. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the beauty. Courage is one of those things that, you know, you, you must face certain things during, you know, adversity, struggle, hardship, all these different things that tend to kind of get in the way and hold you back and make you not want to do certain things. But not you. You have courage. You have the ability to do anything that you absolutely want to do only if you believe in yourself and you take action. Here's the thing. You know, when you have the courage to do whatever it is that, that it is that you want to do and you go out there and you take that action, the idea is, is that you don't really get wrapped around the results. You, you really don't get wrapped around the results. Get wrapped around the action. Take ownership in the action that you can take and have courage to show up every day. Have courage to take action. Have courage to do the thing regardless of those results. You know, because results will vary. Revolt, results will be big, they'll be small, they'll be positive, and they'll be negative. Each and every day you face scary things, hard things, difficult things, things within your life that really can hold you back. They can hold you down. But you know what? Not you. You are strong and you have exactly what it takes to achieve anything that you want to. You just got to keep taking action no matter what. It's all right up here. It's that mindset. It's that thing that you must strengthen each and every day. And when that mind is strong, everything else is strong right there along with it. Your courage, your confidence, your ability to do anything that you really want to put your mind to, you can do.